Coulson there somewhere. This is the last press scrum. Andy Coulson will have to negotiate for quite some time. The only positive in a day where this former newspaper editor turned political spin doctor lost his liberty. During his time in charge at the News of the World, the paper hacked the phones of thousands of people, from the rich and powerful to ordinary members of the public. In the dock alongside Andy Coulson, former colleagues Neville Thorlbeck, Greg Miskew and James Weatherup, and the private investigator Glenn Mulcair. Andy Coulson was told by the trial judge, Mr Justice Saunders, that he had to take the major share of the blame for hacking at the News of the World. While it might not have started under his watch, the judge said he did encourage it and it increased substantially while he was editor. One former News of the World journalist remembers well the intense pressure from those in charge to get ahead of the competition. There would have been a lot of pressure on the journalists that were particularly involved, the names that, have come from, you know, that, that we now know were involved in, in hacking. I, of course, as, a, as, as, as an old-fashioned journalist, which is what I, what I am and what I was, I would like to think I would have, I'd have said no. Uh, but clearly, faced face with that, who knows what a journalist might do under intense pressure. And there was intense pressure on that newspaper. It was the revelation the News of the World hacked the voicemail of murdered schoolgirl Millie Dowler, which caused widespread public outrage and ended in the closure of the newspaper. Andy Coulson was acting editor the week of Millie's disappearance in 2002, standing in for Rebecca Brooks, who was on holiday. After hacking the schoolgirl's phone, the paper waited a full day before alerting the police to the contents of the messages. Andy Coulson's former colleague and lover was found not guilty of phone hacking and related charges last week. But for the man who'd previously enjoyed such power and influence, it's off to jail. The words of the judge still ringing in his ears. That distinguished career, his achievements now count for nothing. Mark White, Sky News.